This is my report on the Republic of Panama. The capital city of Panama is Panama City. The literacy rate is 94.1%. The population density is 140.6 people per square mile. The life expectancy is 73.84 years. Panama's main resources are bananas, rice, corn, coffee, sugarcane, vegetables, livestock, shrimp, copper, mahogany forests, shrimp, and hydropower. These are an important part of the economy. Spanish is the official language of Panama, but 14% of the population speaks English. Many citizens are bilingual. Spanish is spoken because the land was claimed and later inhabited by already Spanish-speaking countries. This is a map of Panama, including the capital Panama City and other main cities in the country. Panama has a tropical maritime climate with a hot, humid, cloudy, prolonged rainy season from May to January and a short dry season from January to May. It is completely outside the hurricane belt and experiences few, if any, natural disasters. Most of Panama has wet winters and dry summers. Panama's climate makes it an ideal travel destination. Panama's flag has three main colors, red, white, and blue, just like the U.S. The blue square represents the Conservatives, a political party, the Pacific Ocean, and the Caribbean Sea. The red square represents the Liberals, a political party, and blood spilt for Panama's independence. The blue star represents civic virtues and honesty. The red star represents authority of the law. Together, the stars represent loyalty and resilience. The white symbolizes peace between the political parties and that they both govern the country at different times. Panama has very many job opportunities, but most aren't enough to support the middle class. Most peasants find seasonal work on banana, sugar, or coffee plantations. Minimum wage for these jobs is $1.62 per hour. The majority of Panama's workforce is unskilled laborers. Panama's economy has one major asset, the Panama Canal, which provides employment opportunities. If I were moving to Panama, I would become an English teacher because they are a necessity to Panamanians and they make a decent salary of $900 to $1,100 per month. In Panama, you have two choices as to where you can live as an expat, waterside or in the cities. Cost of living in Panama is 29.35% lower than in the United States. Common crimes in the cities are mugging and pickpocketing. Natives usually build their own huts. In Panama, there are six years of primary education called Primaria, grades one through six and then three years of lower secondary education called Primedia, grades seven through nine. Both Primeria and Primedia education is required and free of charge in Panama. There are three additional years of secondary education called Education Media available from grades 10 to 12. These are optional and you must pay for them. There are three main types of transportation in Panama. One is the Diablos Rojos, colorful former school buses that are everywhere and cost only 25 cents, but these are not recommended because they do not follow the route and are not considered safe. A second option would be the Metro Bus, a government regulated public bus system. A third option would be registered taxis. Do not share taxis with strangers and always sit in the back seat. There are a variety of ways Panamanians like to enjoy themselves. One way is festivals, which are high points of the year. Two types of festivals are agricultural and carnival. Discos are very popular in Panama. Panama City has many nightclubs and more than 20 gambling casinos. Bullfighting and cockfighting are popular gambling sports. Baseball is Panama's most popular sport. 
Do not visit the Darien Gap in southern Panama, near the Colombian border. It is a province of drug trafficking. Greater than 80% of Panamanians are Roman Catholic. Protestants and Muslims account for about another 5% each. Women are the main components of the church. The big question is, would I move to Panama? And my answer is no. Moving to Panama has a lot of benefits, like lower cost of living and climate like a year-long vacation. But I would not risk my safety just for these benefits. To some people it's worth it, but to me it is not. Panama's government is a constitutional democracy. You must be at least 18 years old to vote. Panama's president is Juan Carlos Varela, elected by direct popular vote. To be Panama's president, you must be at least 35 years of age, and you must be a native Panamanian. Once you are elected, you serve for a five-year term. You are not eligible for immediate re-election once you have served your five-year term. There are three main types of problems Panama deals with. One of these types is economic problems. There is a wide divide between the rich and the poor. In urban areas, extreme poverty is below 4%, but in rural areas, it is 27%. Another main type of problem is political problems. The judicial system is overburdened and prone to corruption. Most land in Panama is not titled. Another main type is social problems. There is serious street crime in the slums. There is drug trafficking. The domestic violence rate is high. Panama was a very interesting country to learn about. I would not want to move there, but I would definitely consider visiting. Thank you for listening. Bye.